What is up, people? Today, we are carrying the hype and diving into the Ranger class a bit more in Ashes of Creation. Going through everything we know so far, from abilities to the subclasses and more, overhyping us all as we get ready for the full Alpha 2 Ranger reveal on Friday's live stream, and really milking the cow dry until I have this live stream to make more videos about. But before we get too far into this, if you are enjoying this Ashes content, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button as we try to hit 10k subs by the end of the year. The Ranger is one of the eight class archetypes in Ashes of Creation, attacking his enemies from afar as he seeks to avoid sword-to-sword -sword confrontation, at least as the basic ranger archetype. But ultimately, the ranger will make up eight of the 64 classes as you can mix and match the archetypes how you see fit. There is the Bow Saner, which is the ranger bard combo, the Falconer, which is the ranger summoner combo, the Hawkeye, which is the ranger ranger combo, the Scion, which is the ranger mage combo, the Scout, which is the ranger rogue combo, the Sentinel, which is the Ranger Tank combo, the Soul Bow, which is the Ranger Cleric combo, and finally the Strider, which is the Ranger Fighter combo. And although we don't know much about these eight classes, we do know a decent amount about the Ranger archetype as a whole. Some of this information is definitely going to be a bit outdated, but it will give you a very good idea of what to expect, even still, come Friday. And if you're watching this after Friday, well, enjoy comparing it to what you just saw. Through various MMORPGs, a lot of people have different expectations on what a ranger can do and how they behave and the eight archetypes will really unlock the potential of that as the falconer you'll be more like a hunter allowing you to summon pets and the scout giving you a more stealthy approach to the ranger class really mixing up the gameplay and the best part about any class in ashes of creation is that you can go and change the secondary archetype it's not a permanent fix to your character but the primary one is the last actual gameplay we saw of the ranger was almost four years ago in december of 2018 giving us a look at the ranger ranger and three of his abilities. You can see from this video that the ranger's basic weapon attack is triggered by clicking the Q button, just like how melee and mages worked in Alpha 1, that right there is your version of the auto attack. With the hybrid system, your character won't automatically just shoot arrows at a target, and you'll have to click this button or an ability to fire off at that target. You also see the three abilities which those who played Apocalypse will probably recognize. Summon Tentacles, which is an AoE spell that summons tentacles to deal with damage around the enemy, and then you have Catfall, which increases your jump height and also slows your fall preventing any damage and lastly place frost trap which i imagine freezes the ground and slows or stops your opponent from moving obviously these abilities if they still exist are all subject to change and i personally think that if these ones still exist they are probably more from a class combination rather than the core ranger archetype for those core ranger archetype abilities though way back into the pre-alpha we knew what these were going to be and again they all could have changed but i feel like a lot of these probably stuck around and at least we have an idea of how they work if they still exist. I'm taking the easy way around on this one and inserting this clip from one of my very outdated videos to explain those to you. Bow's Combo. Target an enemy with your bow to strike with two arrows dealing damage and powering up your focus. Flame line. Shoot an arrow that leaves behind a trail of flames. So if you're on the other end of this shot, don't stand in the fire, you noob. Fleeting shot. Retreating shot that rolls backwards and does damage. Here's what it looks like in New World, but it'll be different in Ashes of Creation because it's a different game. Hail of Arrows. Use this skill to summon a template and launch multiple arrows within the template. Again, cue New World spell for visual. Jump. No, the ability doesn't just allow you to jump, and I feel like it shouldn't be named Jump, because everybody can do that, but it allows you to dash with a cooldown. But is dashing different from sprinting? I don't really know. You probably don't really know. Only Stephen Sharif really knows, but we will have to wait and find out. Knock back Sean. Knock a target back at X distance. Marked arrow. Target an enemy to use this skill, causing the enemy to take additional physical damage and probably mental damage when you roast him out of the field and steal all his hard-earned resources that he's been mining for days and just needed to make it back to that settlement, but you just grabbed him with your marked arrow target when he was just minutes away. That poor soul. Power shot, this skill charged up a shot that fires forward in a line, dealing damage to all it touches. Slice, a cone melee attack because you don't always have a bow, but sometimes you might have a knife. Snare, foot pin, roots target in place, and it gives you more time to aim when you're bad at action combat. Sniper eye, summon a zone around you. While you're in the zone, you deal 200% more damage for all attacks. This one will actually be really useful in a raid because you probably aren't moving around very much because all the melee people are getting attacked and you're just standing back there like, oh, cool, this puddle of 
purpleness is going to show up in three seconds. Let me just step slightly to the left. Sprint, increase movement speed, track, show nearby tracks leading to unknown adventures. If we end up seeing the whole class kit this Friday, then we'll get a pretty good idea of how the rest of this stands and what is outdated and what made the Alpha 2 cut. There are also multiple ranged weapons in the game that the Ranger could take advantage of. There are no class restriction behind weapons, so he could really use anything, but you can bet the bow and the crossbow will make the most sense for this class. There are also orbs, spellbooks, and wands for ranged weapons, but you should probably save those for the mages of the world. For those of you hoping for guns, well, there is no gunpowder type weapons in Vera, but Ashes of Creation Apocalypse did have what was called the Potion Launcher. This was a short-range magical weapon that shot potions at opponents that would explode on impact. But unfortunately, last we knew, it was not yet decided if these weapons would make it into the MMO, but I think they'd be a pretty cool weapon for the Ranger to utilize. One of the things about the Ranger, which I hope changes, is that last we heard, ranged weapons had a minimum distance they could use for an attack, which when a class is solely based off ranged combat, I really don't like this idea. So hopefully, this this has changed because it has been a while since we've heard any update on this, but I do want to see the ranger be able to move around on the battlefield and shoot arrows from wherever they are standing using traps and knockbacks to really bridge the distance. I also don't want ammo. I feel like the community is probably torn on this because some people like having to craft ammo, but using a class that requires ammo already sets them back from the other classes that don't spend money or craft it. Although I do like New World's approach where you, where if you don't have ammo, you can still use the weapon. It just does less damage. I I think that's a cool take on it as well, but it still kind of sets the class back from the rest of the ones that don't need ammo. What are you hoping to see from the Ranger reveal? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes of Creation and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, where you can jump in on the form, spend all your money on cosmetics, or just hang around and wait for the day that you can finally play Ashes. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.